Hey guys. Hi there. Welcome to Whimsical Wednesday. My name is Tracy. I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint Company and we are coming to you live tonight and I'm so excited. Let me tell you why because I'm from San Antonio, Texas and we got all that snow and we don't know what to do and our pipes broke and our electricity's gone out and we've been cooking in our fireplace and we've had no, uh, we've been not been in touch with what are you saying? Look over. And we've not been in touch with the real world. Uh, and I didn't think I was going to get to go live. I've missed all my live videos this week. But we got power. Woo -woo! We got power tonight. So um, I'm here. I'm live. But I'm also live on two platforms tonight for Dixie Bell. I am live on Dixie Bell's Instagram right there. And I'm live on Dixie Bell's Facebook right there. So please say hello. This is my first time to go live on Dixie Bell's page. I'm really excited to be here on Dixie Bell's Instagram page. Facebookers, please say hello when you come on. Let me know that you're here. I've got my husband Matt behind the camera and he will relay any hellos or comments. There are no comments coming across on Insta. That's okay. That's okay. all right. Thank you. I'll be able to see him. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for being here. We're super excited to have you. Uh, we're going to keep it a little bit shorter tonight than normal because we don't know how long we'll have power. Uh, they're doing these rolling brownouts and uh, our power came on at five just suddenly. And I was like, oh, I get to go live. Hurry, let's get set up. So we just started getting set up and here we are. So um, I am going to be, I'm going to pull out a wood graining tool tonight. This is my wood graining tool right here. And I'm going to use this on top of a dresser that I started with y'all last week. Yes, we did it last week and I was, thought I would finish it by now. But um, the storm happened and I didn't get to finish it. It's been freezing out here. We've got a heater on us right now. It is very, very cold out here. Um, but I want to get the top done so I can get it photographed and I can share with you because I've got the front covered. I don't know if you can see that, but the front's covered because I don't want you to see it until until we are uh, ready to share it, which means when this right here is done. So let's get the top done together and then hopefully I can photograph it tonight before our electricity goes out again uh, because I have a feeling it will. And um, let me tell you what I've done so far. So already the top was painted in honky tonk red. I had honky tonk red as the base color of this entire dresser. Um, and on top of that, real quick, about, I don't know, an hour and a half ago, I came out here and put on a coat of Midnight Sky, which is one of Dixie Bell's blacks. We have caviar and Midnight Sky. So this has a coat of Midnight Sky on it. And um, we heat gunned it dry. Didn't want to dry very quickly out here because it's cold and damp. Um, but we did, we used a heat gun and we got it nice and dry. And we are gonna do a faux, fake wood grain top on it. Um, it's really not supposed to look like wood grain for this piece. You can make things look legitimately wood grain. My dining room table is done that way. Um, and there's lots of different products that you can use this little tool with. So please let me know, have you used one of these before? This is what the package looks like when you get it from Dixie Bell. It looks just like this. I think they're 12 or $13. Um, it's an amazing little tool. I've never even opened the second package, but I'm going to tonight. We're going to use a brand new one. Um, so, hey guys, is anyone else been out of electricity or when we don't have electricity, I don't have any internet. Um, Matt actually went and got another modem tonight and got it fired up just for this live. We're serious when we get to go live. I'm serious. We take it uh, very seriously. Um, okay, so this is what the wood graining tool looks like. And then in addition to that, you get, this is a, a rocker, a rocking tool. And in addition to that, you get this extra little piece. This is just a smaller rocker. So what this piece would do, this will pop right off of the handle, if Matt wants to bring you forward. This will pop right off of the handle. This is a wider, would make like a wider wood grain or a wood plank look. And then this would give you a, a more narrow wood grain or a wood plank look for uh, maybe a smaller project. Um, or maybe you just want more of a narrow look. You just pop this one off, this one pops right on. You also get this little triangular tool right here that has uh, ridges in it where you can use these. I don't use this very often, but if you've got some spaces in between your grain, you can use this to drag and just kind of wiggle it a little bit just to give like some natural movement in the wood grain yourself. Um, you can do that. And then also, Underneath each side of this wood grain tool are um, some other little things that you can drag, like this one right here, up close, Matt, will you show them that up close? 
Don't forget that these are here as well on the back side of this wood graining tool. Um, they're just notches. They're, I think that's actually what it's supposed to make it look like. You can use it as notches or to drag big, wide drag marks. So that's that. What can you do this with? You can do this with paint, which we are actually gonna use two different grays tonight. We are gonna use um, Gravel Road and Stormy Seas, two, two different grays by Dixie Bell on top of the Midnight Sky. And as you can tell, if you look at these paint colors, in addition to this, they're all very, very similar to each other. Um, so I wanted that. I want it to be um, very subtle, very, very subtle. Uh, but you can also do the super funky if you want. I've done white and, and cobalt blue before. I've done uh, pink over red before. So you can get as funky with it as you want or as natural. If you want like a driftwood look, uh, you can use sandbar and drop cloth and um, uh, mud puddle. You can use browns and beiges and you can get a really good driftwood look. We are just going to go for black on gray on gray to kind of do like a tone on tone wood grain. You can also use a uh, stain if you want to use no paint gel stain. You can use stains to do this with. You can use voodoo gel stain, which is no paint gel stain is the oil based stain. You can use voodoo gel stain, which is their water based stains. Um, it works really, really well with those too. So, um, okay, Matt, you want to tell me who's with us tonight? Well, we got 227 people at the moment. So oh my gosh, that's awesome, out. you guys. I didn't know how many we would have. I gotta go. Here, will you pop that on the ground, Bayman? People are yeah. loving the hat. Oh, it's so it's, much. Uh, <laughs> it's really cold, guys. It's so, um, we've had to stay here every night because we have dogs. We sent our daughter off to go sleep with some uh, friends that had electricity in their home. Thank you, honey. Um, so we stay here because we had our dogs and, and it, it got down into the 40s inside our house. Um, just really cold, but it's much better today. Here, will you open this one too, babe? I don't know what's on the, on the top of that one. So all I've, all I've got here, y'all, is, uh, and I never wear an apron. I look so professional tonight, right? It's because I have a really good warm sweater on and I didn't want to get paint on it. I don't ever wear aprons. <laughs> I very rarely even wear shoes. I don't even usually have shoes on my feet. Um, it's frozen paint is what it is. Oh, on the top? Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Okay. So, I've got my two jars open. Uh, I'm using a kind of a narrow brush. This is the larger flat, uh, large brush. This is the flat medium. Flat medium is my favorite. Let me show you why. If you have this size, the 16 ounce jar, the flat large fits inside it. If you have the eight ounce size paint from Dixie Belle, the flat large does not fit inside there. A flat medium fits inside this one. So I love the flat medium brush. So in order to, you can either use two colors, which is your base color and one other color. That would be two colors. Um, but if you wanna really kind of mix it up a little bit, make it, be a little more tone on tone, you can throw a couple of colors down. So you wanna have your brush, um, two per color, one, I mean one for each color, and then you wanna have uh, a little bit of water in case your paint is thick, which mine is, plus it's really cold out here, so my paint's a little bit thick right now. So I've got my Mr. Bottle, and actually, Matt, would you mind going to put a little water in there, please? Sure. And then you wanna have uh, maybe just a towel close by, um, because you're going to pull up a little bit of paint with the rocker and as after I run it I usually have a towel that I just kind of wipe it off on so you want to have that close by so I'm going to keep that in my pocket and that's really it so Matt's going to bring me my sprayer and we are going to get started do we have any any other comments any comments at all coming up on Instagram babe just people stating where they're coming from we got people from Quebec and Australia and nice. Tennessee nice Canada, Canada, all over the world. Do we have any comments coming on Instagram at all? Uh, there are no comments showing, so I think it's probably a setting that we're not seeing. Really? Okay. Hang on tight, guys. Let me look real quick before I start laying down paint. Because this is our first time. I'm trying to hit that. Yeah, that's by people. Oh, I don't think we're... Are we live? Yeah. Okay. Go that way. No. 
Is that what? I'm not sure. That's all right. We'll see you later. I think we're live. I'm not sure. We think we're live on Instagram. I don't know. Can y'all give us some hearts or something on Instagram? We don't have very many people watching there. Um, Let us know you're there. But if you're there, will you tap give us some hearts? We don't see any comments or anything. Facebook, you got it. You got it. All right, let's get going. Um, I am going to spray a little bit. I'm going to do across the front of the dresser first. So I'm going to spray just a little bit of water. You don't have to do this, but I want to because my paint is super thick. I'm going to spray actually some onto my brush here. All right, so I'm just going to start painting. Um, painting, laying down this color. You don't have to do it real thick. Just lay it down like this. No, no, uh, Nikki signing in from Texas. So is Teresa. Somebody has power. Hey guys. Okay. So look here what I'm doing. I am put blending. I put a little bit of gravel road and over here I'm doing a little bit of stormy seas kind of to the front of this kind of mixing up. This is how I did my, uh, this is how I did my dining room table. I just mixed it up, just like this. So I'm gonna do one row at a time. I'm only turning my brush sideways, guys, because I'm kind of hitting the, hitting up against that edge. All right, and you wanna keep it, keep it wet, because you wanna be able to move your tool through it. Now we're gonna take our tool right here, and we're gonna start right here on the edge, and you can rock, That's so cool. Just like that. That's awesome. All right. So now I'm going to take my brush. And this is where, like this section right here is where you could actually run this through if you wanted to. A little bit like that. Since that side didn't get touched as much. See how I'm keeping it from being straight? like that. So now we're going to lay down a little bit more paint. Let's keep, let's, uh, this time I think I'm going to make my gravel road a little bit more on this side. Quick question here. Yes. Uh, what's the base color on the top there? That is midnight sky. That's my base color. Midnight sky. And there's a little bit of honky tonk red, um, underneath all of it. Nice and wet. Drag that through. Okay. Same thing here. I'm going to start with it upward like this. And it looks so authentic. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. It really does? Yeah, it does. It's so cool. I love it. I love it. So I don't want to make it too streaky. So I'm going to put, I'm going to run this uh, gravel road right here, a little bit of water on it. And it's okay if your water gets over what you've already done. Um, that will actually allow it to, I've got some thick paint coming in here. I don't like that. Um, that will help it to blend out Libby a little bit. says they're not seeing us on Instagram. Do you want me to push that button? Oh yeah, time? push the button and see what happens. Who said they're not seeing it? Checking connection, you're now live. Oh. All right. So we weren't live, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Instagram, Thanks, hi. Thank you, Libby. <laughs> Thank you, whoever that was that was checking for us. We thought we were live on Instagram, but we were not. Uh, we are working on a faux wood grain top here and uh, using our wood grading tool from Dixie Bell. You can order it online. You can get it from your local retailer. I put a link um, at the top of this video. That includes, uh, it's my affiliate link, uh, but it also will allow you to go to the website to look for uh, the, your local retailer, and you Babe, can get these there. What are we uh, under on Instagram? We're on Dixie Bell. Dixie Bell Instagram, okay. And then if you want, you can take this little, you can also use this little tiny rocker if you wanted to and do it by hand right here in between. Um, I think I'm just going to keep using this little tool right here. Let's drag with this one this time. Um, let's see. 
Do I really want to? No, I kind of like I think it. It looks good. I kind of like it. We'll just keep going. Let's just keep going. All right, I'm gonna bring this. Now, if I decide, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm already thinking, okay? Because I'm already thinking that Stormy Seas was a little bluer than I wanted it to be. Stormy Seas has, you know, it's a gray blue. And you can see that here. So if, when I'm done with you guys tonight, if I take my paper off the front and I see that it's a little too bold of a blue, then I'm probably going to give it a white wash over the top or even maybe like a gray wash over the top just to tone it back, knock it back a little bit. I can either wash it down with paint or I may even uh, do like a white wax over the top of it. But I just wanted to use two different colors here so that y'all could see the difference. Now, if I wanted, I could even run through this. Uh, I could run some black through this if I wanted to as well. Okay, so let's drag this. Maybe do these a little bit longer. There we go. Now I'm gonna take this tool this time and I'm gonna use the one with the teeth. Julie wants to know if she can purchase this in Australia. Uh, you should be able to find a retailer there close to you in Australia as well because I know we have Dixie Bell paint retailers in Australia. So if you go to the Dixie Bell website, you'll be able to look that up. And you should be able to. I Burns think so. not sure if she likes this or not, but I, I will say I I <laughs> thought it was questionable at first, but especially unless you're right on top of it. And a lot of times, even if you are right on top of it, it looks natural. It looks like real wood grain. It really does. And and I don't blame you for questioning it. That's okay. And we'll see. When I get the when I get the piece done. You guys can look at it and tell me what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some Stormy Seas over here on this color. So Instagram, thank you for being here. I'm sorry we thought we were live on Instagram and clearly we weren't. So I don't usually go live for Dixie Bell. My name is Tracy, I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. And uh, this is my first time to go live on Dixie Bell's page um, on Instagram. Are you gonna use a little tool? Uh, I can. I wasn't planning on it. I like the larger plank look, but the little tool, you use it exactly the same. Uh, you just pop it off, pop it off of this handle, and you just put the little tool on the handle. It does the same thing, but it's going to give you a smaller plank look. So there's no real rhyme or reason here. You just go for it. And you're, I'm just barely dragging, like I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, scraping it in. Okay, you want me to try the little tool? Let's see, I'll just do it by hand here. Yeah. Let's do it, uh, we'll do it like this. I'll do it across the bag. I think it works a lot better with the handle, but. There. Pretty good. Now, it's also got the little scraper on the underneath side of it. So I could even take it and run that little scraper. Oh, uh, actually, she was to. talking about the little triangle thing. Oh, yeah, I do. I love this little triangle thing. I do. And I, I like to just wiggle it through like this. It kind of, can y'all see that? See how it's given those tiny lines like that? And the thing is, don't go straight with it. Keep them squiggling just like that. Just gives you a little bit more movement. And I wet this up here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this through it again. Let's do a little bit here. I'm gonna move it kind of like. Blend the color there. Yeah. Cool. Pretty cool, right? Let me do it right here too. Very Now my what table, is that uh, wood graining tool, and my tabletop, our tabletop, mine and Matt's in our dining room has this exact finish on it, but it's in uh, very neutral tones, and it looks amazing. And uh, we have gator hide over the top of it, 
and it's the table that everyone throws their backpacks on and the baby seats, the car seats on top of when they come in the door. And it has never scratched. It has three coats of gator hide on the top of it. So when this dries, as long as it dries and I like it like this color, um, I will put three coats of gator hide on top of this as well. And that's it. That's it. Y'all have any questions for me? How long have we been on? Not very long, probably. Only about 25 minutes. How are we doing over here on Instagram? Uh, let me check. I've been working the camera on you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't mean to neglect y'all, but it's a tiny phone and I have bad eyesight. <laughs> no, uh, no questions so far. Just people signing in. We got 34 people. So the mm -hmm. tools, I believe they're, I think, let's see what I was doing. I think it's $12.95. Oh, yeah. um, Closer. This handle, this little tool, and then the smaller rocker. So do y'all see how the wood grain, it looks like wood grain, and then I use this little tool that I ran through. It gives you tiny, tiny, right here you can see it really good. These little tiny lines that run through like this. Now these colors are pretty funky. This is a pretty funky color, right? But it still looks really good. And I have something special painted on the front of this dresser, and I think, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. But you know what the great thing is? If you don't like it, just put a coat of paint over it and is, be done. Is you Gator Hide a poly coat? Gator Hide is a polycrylic top coat, but it has a, uh, uh, where all of our top coats are water resistant, Gator Hide is water repellent and it's the most hardy of all of our top coats that we have. We have flat, satin, and gloss. We also have waxes. We have hemp oil um, if you want something natural. Um, and then we have Gator Hide. So it's like super armored up. I love um, it. Also, what is the undercoat? Hoffmeister wants to know. Whoa. The undercoat of this is Midnight Sky. It was a black Midnight Sky. So I did black first, and then I did uh, Gravel Road, and Stormy Seas is the kind of bluish gray that you see in here. Can we get that tool at a retailer? Yes, you can get these tools at a retailer. You sure can. If your retailer carries them, you sure can. So call your, why can I not say that word? Your call your retailer and ask if they carry the wood graining tool. I'm sure they do. I have no doubt. Um, where to go, where to go? Do you ever paint lines for more of a plank look? Um, yes, and I, this actually gives a pretty good plank look, I think. Um, oh, but you mean like where you actually measure off so it's like planked out? I haven't done that faux, but I've done planks. I've actually done actual wood planks painted the planks and then use the wood graining tool on top of them even though they're wood because this gives such a really distinct look and i really like it how long do you wait between coats of the gator hide uh gator hide will put down a, a good coat wait it dries in about an hour and then i'll put another coat down and it dries then i'll usually let that second coat dry overnight and then the next day i'll come out and put my final third coat on there and you did a red or a pink red is all the way underneath here but you can't see it now, I don't believe any red came through at all, but you'll see, you'll see if we get this, if we keep electricity electricity tonight and I can get this photographed, um, within the next day or so, I'll be posting it on my page. And what kind of brush do you use for gator hide? Uh, gator hide for a flat top surface. Let me get it and show you. Hold on just a second and I'll show you what I use. Debbie says she loves this. She bought the tool and now she knows how to use it. Yay, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. I love it too. Um, this is an applicator pad. They come two to a pack. It's called applicator pad. I believe it's under tools on Dixie Bell's page, um, DixieBellPaint.com. Um, I also put my link at the top of this. If anyone wants to order anything tonight, just click that link. It's my affiliate link. I would really appreciate that. But these are the applicator pads. This is what I use to put gator hide on. Um, I have a a uh, YouTube video showing that, and I also have a blog about applying gator hide with this over a black surface. It's really, on a flat surface, this is the way to go. Brandy wants a close-up, so hang on. Oh, is it Brandy? Brandy, yep. Brandy, hi, babe. How are you? Brandy Garcia. Oh, it's Brandy Garcia. Yes, I know who Brandy is. So, that is that. I love it. I'm very, very, very anxious to take, uh, when we get off here, to take my paper my hidden dresser cover off so I can see how this looks. I'm hoping it's good, I hope it's good. And then I'll have to obviously go back and do my edges a little bit. I'm not sure I'm gonna leave those black or if I'm gonna go ahead and do those with 
gravel road. I do y'all have a? I'm not sure. Do you have a retailer in Saskatchewan, Canada, or oh. how do they do that? Uh, we do have retailers in Canada, but I have no idea where. You'll have to you'll have to ask Dixie Belt. You'll have to go to DixieBeltPaint.com and um, look for a retailer there. I think you can put your area code in, whatever that is that you use there, and they should be able to help you locate one that's close to you. Michelle wants to know about the front. I know. We can't show you, Michelle. Not yet. It's done. It's, it's finished. Top secret. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty. I like it a lot. Thank you, though. Thank you for being as excited as I am. Gail wants to know if you can put gator hide on with a sponge. Yes, this is what I put my gator hide on right here. Oh, do you mean the blue sponge? You can. I, I personally, I have the blue sponges right up there. Let me grab one. And what are you spraying on before the paint? She missed the first few minutes. Is that just water? Water. So this is the blue sponge. The reason I, I don't personally like to do it with the blue sponge is because it's round. It's a great little tool. It's a great tool. It's got a great holder on it, um, but it pushes paint around it instead of keeping it on a flat surface, like nice and squared off. So I prefer their applicator pad, but they, but they have both, whatever you prefer. Karen wants to know if we have heat. Um, we, we only have heat guns. We have heat right now because uh, the, our electricity finally came on at five o'clock this evening. Just like, boom, we're like, Whoa! hurry, cook some food, turn the heater on, get, get set up, let's, let's do live. So, um, that's what's, that. What's the color, uh, what's the other color besides uh, gravel road? Uh, Stormy Seas. Stormy the bluish gray color is Stormy Seas. And the other one is gravel road. Over everything is over midnight sky. That's the absolute base. Okay, let me go over here to Insta and see what kind of questions we've got. Uh, what's the undercut color? They say the picture is better on Instagram than it is on Facebook. Really? Maybe that's my. I don't know. Well, you know what? I think the quality is always better on Instagram. What stain colors? These are. It's Dixie Bell's paint. It's all paint. It's not stain. It's midnight sky, and then that's the base, and then I did. Gravel Road, <laughs> and Stormy Seas, over the top, brushed it on, drugged the tool through it, and gave got this uh, faux wood grain. And Amy wants to know if you're doing kitchen uh, kitchen counters, how many coats of gator hide would you use? On More than one? Kitchen cabinets, not counters, right? Do you mean uh, kitchen cabinets? She says counter. Uh, I like three coats of gator hide regardless, no matter what it is. And I who, like three coats. And who sells the wood grain tool? The wood graining tool is from Dixie Bell, right here, from Dixie Bell. Love right here, it's twelve ninety five, dollars I believe, huh? Is the pad a one-time use? Are you talking about the sponge or the... Either. Uh, no, these are washable. You can throw these in your washing machine and just let them dry. You can wash them out uh, and reuse them. However, uh, if you use the stain, it's harder to get it out of, and gator hide also uh, stiffens up on one side after you used, used it for gator hide. If you use it for a regular top coat, you can wash them out and reuse them over and over again. BXNJI, uh, you say, do you have a makeshift product that I could paint my cell with? Paint your what? Cell, like cell phone? You're not painting your phone, are you? <laughs> I think it was probably a typo. Ask again and we'll get your answer. I don't answer. know. I have no idea. I don't know what that means. Well, guys, um, I'm going to let you guys go. It's uh, short, a little shorter than we normally About 10 minutes shy of what we normally do. But we are done. Thank you all so much for joining us. It feels really good to get back in touch with people out there. We've been a little bit shut in here in Texas. Can you show one more time the wood grain tool that yes. you used? Yes, right here. This is the wood graining tool. It looks just like this. And it also comes with a smaller uh, part that you can put on it instead of this larger one. This gives you wider planks. This gives you a more narrow plank. And then it comes with this as well, which I actually ran through here to give like some thinner lines. Um, and if you missed it, you can just rewind, re watch replay and uh, see how I did it. It's super, super easy, super easy and a pretty amazing look. So got time for one more, one more question. Okay, what's under the midnight sky? Was it bare wood stained? Is there an evident pattern? So I'd just like to know. Under the midnight sky was actually honky-tonk red because this entire dresser is painted in red. So there's honky-tonk red. It was just completely flat. Uh, 
uh, it was a uh, French provincial wood dresser. And then I painted honky tonk red and then decided I wanted to do a faux wood grain top. So I did the midnight sky and then I just did this fake wood look on a completely flat surface that we started with. So not a bad question at all. Are we good? I okay think that's guys, it. we are good. Thank y'all. Thank you so much. Um, again, my name is Tracy. And my, my business is Tracy's Fancy. I would love it on both Instagram and Facebook if y'all will check my page out. I'm on every single day posting new projects every day and I would love to have you as part of my um, social media family. Dixie Bell, thank you so much for being so wonderful and um, letting me be here tonight. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. We are going to do something fun next Wednesday. We've got a pretty big size, ginormous rocking horse that we're going to do in a super whimsical style. Um, and I cannot wait to get started with that project on y'all. That one's going to take a little while. So um, y'all stay warm, stay safe. And if you're in Texas, I hope you, I hope you've got electricity and water. Um, Louisiana, even I think some of the Southern states. Um, anyway, y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye. Bye.